Concerns continue to mount with the uncertain impact that President-elect Donald Trump's policy will have on Guam's industries, this time health care. One private insurer says uncertainty with Trump care could change the way they view a recent health care initiative proposed by Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. Here's more. On the heels of a new health care initiative by Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr., Calvo Select Care Plan Administrator Frank Campillo says insurance rates could indeed rise with the introduction of a 4% health insurance fee as proposed in Senator Rodriguez's original plan. Rodriguez's office said the fee would be taken directly from the insurance company's medical loss ratio profits and should not affect those who are insured with private insurance agencies. Of course, you know, any any time that you any time that you add a tax, uh, it will affect rates, you know, and, and at the end of the day, the consumers are going to be the ones paying for that extra tax. Sure, you know, yeah. Uh, so nothing there's no comes, way of getting around There is that, no way to get around, you know. In fact, uh, one of the concerns that uh, we have currently is the current medical inflation that has occurred in the island. And our concern is that if we also make things too expensive, then more people may drop from the insured population. Mm -hmm. So. The plan and the dialogue is a very important dialogue. Capillo says medical services on Guam have become more and more expensive and will continue to rise. He fears Guam may soon reach a financial ceiling in terms of what taxpayers can afford. Additionally, the recent news that Medicare had approved a per diem rate for the Guam Regional Medical City by nearly 400 percent of what the Guam Memorial Hospital receives plays into whether or not the insurer can afford to participate in Senator Rodriguez's plan to convert management of the MIP program over to private insurers. Campillo says before this news, the company thought they could handle taking on a privatized MIP program, but not so much so now. Prior to about a week and a half ago, before we got the news that uh, Medicare had increased fees to uh, one of the local hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, we, we thought that we would be able to participate and successfully run those programs. Uh, of course, there is new factors that we need to deal with, which includes the new increased reimbursement from Medicare to the new hospital. And we, and we need to uh, sit down, crunch numbers, and see if, if it is something that we can work. He also joins the list of stakeholders who are uncertain about the impact of U.S. President-elect Donald Trump's policies here on Guam. Yesterday, the Guam Tax Commission voiced major concerns with a new Trump tax plan and its impact on Guam. Now, Campillo says Trump care could completely change the way company would look at Senator Rodriguez's plan. Our organization, we have prepared and have done a lot of administrative work in the last six years. Uh, that uh, is mainly due uh, based on regulations that Obamacare has. Right. If that is all derailed, then all this work went to waste. But even if it is not derailed, but if new regulations are put in place, for instance, we understand that Obamacare may extend the coverage for children up to the age of 30 as opposed to 26. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, Trump care we may extend uh, to 30 as opposed to 26. So. All of these changes are things that may occur too quickly for an industry that is fragile right now, in my opinion. While Campillo says he thinks Senator Rodriguez's plan is important dialogue, more discussion needs to take place given the recent issues that have come to light regarding Medicare reimbursement and the possible effects of Trump care, good or bad. But the future for Guam's health care may not be so grim, according to Campillo. He points out that Governor Eddie Calvo and his role in the Trump administration may be able to influence the impact that a new Trump care policy might have on Guam. And you can read Senator Rodriguez's health care initiative proposal online at PacificNewsCenter.com.